Hello. I am coming to you today to Kaigi some techo. Ayy, Kaigi. Grammatically, kind of works. Like, techo being journals, Kaigi being reflection. Like, I'm going to Kaigi on my techo. I'm reflecting on my. Anyway. It is July of 2024, probably August when you're seeing this, and I'm finally bringing you my 2024 Techo Kaigi. This is my stack. I won't tell you too much about the stack because I'm about to go to my desk and talk to you about each of these notebooks. What you need to know about me to set the context for these notebooks is that I am a full-time work-from-home researcher. I am living on my own for the first time as a post-grad adult, which if you haven't seen my life updates video, go ahead and click on that if you want to hear all the cheese me about my life. This is the system that I have honed and that I'm actually quite happy with to help me organize my life on paper because even though I've tried to become like a notion girly, I always come back to my stack. So without further ado, let's go to my desk and talk about what all these journals are and why I have to use all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven of them, almost on the daily. So because of my lack of planning, I am just gonna go in size order. I wish I was joking, but I am. So starting with the smallest notebook that I use somewhat on the daily, it's gonna be this Hobonichi Papers notebook. This is the special edition. I will leave the name. Oh, it's the Yam Yamazakura by Mikaro Makino. Um, Nikochi, I'm so sorry, I'm doing it. Nikochi Prefectural Makino Botanical Garden Collection. But it's basically one of their extra papers notebooks and it has like four different colored pages. But basically what I use this for is my swatch book. Um, I have the four sections dedicated to the four different types of pens and pencils that I use. So we've got gel, ballpoint pens, fed liners, bullet tip markers, highlighters, brush tip markers. Um, and yeah, this is what I reference when I'm like creating spreads. Like if I want say specifically a highlighter that's a warm yellow color, then I'll try and find one, something like this Kokio two-way. And then I know to grab it from my, um, from my collection and to use it for my spread. This has been really, really handy. I like that there's a lot of pages so that when inevitably my collection expands, I have lots of space to do swatches and because I use Hobonichi regularly, having a similar paper lets me know what the bleed through is gonna be like. The next journal is going to be my daily pages. So this is a Midori B6 Slim notebook with a grid size in it. Um, there's me, I keep in a little pocket that I've attached to the front of this plastic cover some date stickers so I have all of the days of the month so that every time I make a new entry I start the entry with the date every single month gets a collage I print out pictures using my Canon IV just to commemorate the month and then I break down every single day it's like a stream of consciousness basically I would do like regular prose like sentences but Unfortunately, my brain just works faster than that, so I have to do it in like note form. I've been doing this for a year now. I used to do like the long form writing, and then I switched earlier this year to doing notes. And it's been really good to have like a space to write down memories, process feelings, all that good stuff, just dump my thoughts because I feel like sometimes I just need to write it down in order to really like process it. So, yeah, that's this journal. Then we have my first Hobonichi A6 journal. This is the One Piece cover that came out this year. Um, I recently got into One Piece because of the live action. So I am obsessed with all of the One Piece Hobonichi ephemera. Um, so I got this journal. I got the Hobonichi Techo 2024 and the cover because you know me. Uh, if I like something, I'm gonna buy everything that's available, including all of the pencil boards. So my pencil board collection exploded this year thanks to the Hobonichi One Piece collaboration. Um, but this journal specifically is actually my commonplace notebook, sort of. Um, basically, every single month is dedicated to like a different kind of thing. So for example, 
if I just want to collect a bunch of stuff on uh, mental health, uh, that's in May. <laughs> so I skip to May and I have all of these entries where I just write down um, things that I've learned or articles that I've seen that are relevant to that. And I like to use some corresponding colors because I do have like a giant stationary collection. So it's nice to be able to use all of the different colors that I use corresponding to all of the different months and colors for the Hobonichi Techo. My other Hobonichi Techo one piece cover uh, has my media journal in it. Um, so I actually, fun story, I found this journal, like the cover, the one piece cover on eBay, but they only had it basically from Japan and it was going to be over $100 just for the cover alone, not including shipping. And while I do love one piece, I don't love one piece that much. So I put out a call on Instagram saying, hey, if anyone has this and they are willing to part ways with it and they live in the US, I am willing to pay some pretty good money for it. And I actually found someone or someone found me, I guess, and they said, hey, I'm not using this. I have a brand new unopened uh, cover that I would be happy to send you. And so money was exchanged, cover came in the mail and here it is. It is gorgeous. I love the way that it looks with the other cover, especially on my shelf. So um, if they ever come out with a blue A6, you can bet your ass I'm buying that. No idea what I'm gonna put in it, but um, I'll figure it out. Like I mentioned, this is where I have my uh, media journal. So what I've been doing is make these spreads that have basically like a, a template to them. I'll try and flip to a blank one. So I write down the title of the piece of media, the kind of media type it is, the dates I interacted with it, my overall rating, and then a short review of it. Well, sometimes it's short, sometimes it's not. Um, but yeah, this is how I've been tracking like all of the different media that I've been interacting and enjoying or not enjoying. Um, not everything gets logged in here. It's just if I feel like I have significant thoughts that need to be written down, it gets written down in here. Um, and I've really been enjoying this because I get to kind of like take a peek at all of the media that I've consumed because I think I've been consuming a lot more like non-bookish media this this year. Um, so you can see like I'm writing about video games, I'm writing about um, different TV shows and movies that I've watched. It's actually, now that I look at it, it's mostly video games. I've been playing a lot of video games, but you get the gist. Like it's been just a really nice place to be able to write down my thoughts about media, take notes and that kind of thing. So yeah, I've been enjoying this. Um, this is a Stalogy A6 notebook, which I know you're thinking to yourself, Mari, you said you hated Stalogy paper. Well, I was wrong. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what's in there. Now, of course, the long-awaited reading journal. I am still, I'm still using this Traveler's Notebook for a reading journal, and I am still using a grid insert as my reading tracker, but um, that's the only spread that I made for this year, literally. Um, this is the only, well, actually I made more spreads. This is the only spread that I use, to be clear. And, um, you know, same old, same old, just writing down title, author, rating. Um, but the big news with this is that this is probably gonna be the last year that I do this in here, um, and I'll explain why when I get to the next journal, but um, yeah, very exciting and sad at the same time to say goodbye to the system. Like I've been literally doing this for years. Um, Y'all who have been watching me for a while know that I've always used a grid insert since like 2020 to track my reads in a traveler's notebook. But um, yeah, that's not happening anymore. This is gonna be the last year of that. Um, I did make some like habit reading habit trackers with some stickers and that just that obviously didn't pan out so yeah that's that prepare to say goodbye to ye old trusty traveler's notebook and say hello to my hobonichi techo weeks or is it just hobonichi weeks anyway i'm new to hobonichi but i am a hobonichi user now even though i said vehemently 
that I will never be a Hobonichi user. I was a liar. I am nothing. I just feed you guys lies. Anyway, um, so I have my Hobonichi weeks inside my old Robiki notebook cover, I think it's called. It's a Robiki note. I'll put the link in the, the description for this notebook cover exactly. Um, but yeah, it perfectly fits in my, oops, it perfectly fits in my Hobonichi Weeks. Ew, you can see my face. Ew. Okay. Uh, this is my Hobonichi Weeks. I got this one instead of the One Piece one because the One Piece one was sold out by the time that I said that I wanted one. Um, my bad. But yeah, this is, this is what I've been using, like literally to track everything during the week. All of my chores, errands to do. I have been using this faithfully since literally the last week of December, which is crazy because I will start wanting to hop planners, but I have not had that issue with this like at all. So every week what I do is I just set up a little theme. Um, on the left side is where all of like the events go, any appointments, any things at work. And then on the right side, I have all of my lists, so chores to do and errands. I use um, these Paparian plan markers to make like any extra notes that I need to. This, I, again, like this has been working so beautifully. I know that I'm going to buy a Hobonichi for next year, which is crazy. Like, who is she? In the back, I've been using the extra pages to just like write down random lists. So. Like when we were doing the book crawl, I wrote down all my ideas. This is where my TBR lives, my CD albums to buy. And in the very back, I just have like my adulting log that has not changed. I still love my adulting log. And I started logging some, not all, <laughs> of the movies and TV shows I watched in the back. So that's why I say with a lot of confidence that I'm probably going to use this, the back of my Hobonichi weeks for 2025 as my reading tracker because having it all in one place to like track is really, really nice. I know I say that and I have literally seven journals that I'm using right now, but in terms of like tracking things, I really want all of my tracking to live in my Hobonichi weeks. So yeah, look at me, a Hobonichi girl. Um, who would have thunk? not me not me and last but not least i have my work journal um for those of you who have watched my videos before this may look familiar to you this is a stalogy a5 a5 yeah a5 this is a special limited edition color but i think they made it like regular production um i used this for a bullet journal way back when but now it is my work journal so basically i divide the page in half and i write down notes and tasks that I have to do. So this is this current week project specific to-do list. So I have like a color code here and then every single like list of things gets color coded. Um, again, it's blurred out so you can't really see it, but that's, that's how I've been using this. That is my work journal. It's nothing exciting. It's just a place for me to write down tasks and all that. So yeah, that is my 2024, very long overdue. Techo Kagi. Good god, you never realize how many journals you have until you have to stack them up in like a semi-aesthetic way. Um, yeah, that is my 2024 Techo Kagi. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what your planner system Techo Kagi has been looking like in 2024. Um, because apparently I can be influenced and I can be pressured into starting new systems like a Hobonichi. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!